Hey guys, Spirit of the Lie here. In this video, we're going to do a quick introduction to the new Armored and Siege Elephant in the upcoming Indian DLC with a specific interest in how it relates to the regular battering ram. This shared unit is an alternative to the ram line, available to Bengalis, Dravidians, Gurjaras, and even Hindustanis, which are the renamed Indian Civ. So even if you don't get the new expansions, you will have access to this through that one civilization. Starting off side by side, the first thing you notice is they have two different levels, the Armored Elephant and its upgrade, the Siege Elephant. Functionally, they serve the same role as the ram, but as we look into the details, they'll start to diverge quite a bit. Right away, a major difference is in their cost, with rams costing 160 wood and 75 gold, whereas the elephant siege units are 130 food and 95 gold. In some ways, they're still comparable, but it's interesting to finally have a siege workshop unit that costs food. Checking out their stats, in Castle Age, they're a little tougher looking than the ram, with more attack, HP, and melee armor. The big difference is they can't garrison units, of course, and also have a bit lower pierce armor. 140 pierce armor is still way more than you need against any ranged unit in Castle Age. To upgrade, they're more expensive than a capped ram, but in total are half the upgrade cost to get to siege ram. Now once you have over 100 pierce armor, you might wonder what the advantage of an extra 5 or 10 really is, but this mostly has to do with the trebuchet. It's 200 pierce damage means elephants are much less resilient against them, but in the vast majority of situations, both rams and armored elephants are just going to take 1 damage from any ranged unit. But now let's see how they fare against buildings. It turns out that while they do considerably less bonus damage than their ram counterparts, they also attack faster, ending up with about the same net damage against buildings. You can see the siege ram is doing the best, but we'd kind of expect that given its higher upgrade cost. That said, one big exception to know is Gujara mounted units do 50% more bonus damage, and that applies to armored elephants, making them almost as good as siege rams in Castle Age. The big takeaway is you really have to watch out for those. So that's how they both do against buildings, and I'd say so far they seem very comparable. Now let's see how they do against a few different types of units, starting with melee. Against champions, they perform almost the exact same. Like battering rams, armored elephants take a bit of extra damage from having negative melee armor, but the HP is close enough you can expect basically the same resilience. That said, it turns out they take some bonus damage from halberdiers for example, though it seems to be half of what elephants usually take, so that's definitely worth knowing. In a strange twist, if you don't have them on no attack stance, they'll actually try to fight back, though their attack is incredibly weak. As elephants, they even do splash damage, which you'll notice as one damage being done to all units nearby every time they attack. As you can see, it's almost useless against fully upgraded halberdiers, but it is a notable deviation from the ram. Now, in addition to taking anti-cavalry damage, they of course also still take anti-siege bonuses as well, and will try to fight back if you don't leave them on no attack stance, doing basically no damage. Remember, onagers and rams also do bonus damage against siege, and one-on-one -on -one, it's pretty much a toss-up between an elephant and a ram. So now, what about ranged units? Since their very high pierce armor means they'll mostly take 1 damage from any ranged unit, this basically just comes down to their HP. Elephants have slightly more HP than their equivalent ram line, but overall I'd say they have roughly the same effectiveness. One subtle but important difference though is they're slightly faster than the ram line, which can be quite handy for demolishing a town quickly, and I should note they're also created in the same 36 seconds. Another important distinction is armored elephants are upgraded with blacksmith techs and stable upgrades, while the ram can only be upgraded with siege engineers. One last point we should probably look at is their unique civilization bonuses. The big ones to know are Bengalis take less bonus damage and are more resistant to conversion, though they're converted like battering rams up close, so that's automatically less of an issue. After Bengalis research their Castle Age unique tech, their armored elephants will also attack faster. Dravidians with their Castle Age unique tech can also heal them 20 HP per minute, and finally Gurjaras are of course insane against buildings, doing almost 50% more damage and creating them a little faster from their team bonus. So overall, it's obvious they're trying to make the armored and siege elephants quite similar to the ram. Against most ranged units and buildings, you're getting something functionally similar, with the major differences being their food cost instead of wood, the weakness to anti-elephant units, faster movement speed, and that they're upgraded by completely different techs. So that was a brief overview of the new armored elephant line. Personally, it makes me a little nervous for these civs against strong halberdier civilizations, especially with some of their greater reliance on the battle elephant and the elephant archer. Though I do like the idea of more regional units, and I think it's a cool addition to the game. That's all for this one though. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.